I think I got her stuck. Look, I ran from her, and now she's stuck. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. So, um, I'd like to say that today is officially Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas to all of you. And, uh, also, this is probably going to be uploaded way after Christmas, but I figured it was, it was worth mentioning now. Also, um, I... Somehow, I somehow got Vanny stuck. And I don't know how. She's just kind of skipping there. And I don't know what I did. Oh, that's right. I went to sleep, decided to continue this um, in this episode. So, um, things went by a little fast for me to process, but... We, I, I, I tried to see the bad ending, but apparently I somehow had two stars, which was required for the good ending. I mean, I can just, I can just load an autosave, and, um, you know, I can just, like, look at the bad ending then, if I don't already have two stars by then. But... When we chose the Vanny ending, we uh, Gregory and Glamrock Freddy tried to ambush Vanny in her hideout. Well, as it turns out, Vanny was the one who was able to turn the tables on us because she had multiple staff bots absolutely tear into Glamrock Freddy and completely disassemble him. So now we're on our own. And Vanny is after us. I'm sorry, Roxy, but survivors of the fittest, you know? Survival of the fittest. I am still beautiful. It's so sad that she's like just still stuck in her delusions My and hair. her being blind just makes it worse. So yeah, um, Vanny? absolutely disassembled our friend. Our friend who helped us through this entire game. And man is it unfortunate. Don't know why I'm not a little more upset. But, yeah. That was weird. I love how the voice glitched out, so it just had this really deep voice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. We need to escape Vanny and figure out where we're going. I think we're going in there? I don't know. Sure, Vanny, if that's what you want to believe. So, like... I want to take a moment to say that... I definitely do feel like I blazed through this game... Not as... F I, I mean, I didn't, like, blaze through it faster than I wanted to, but I definitely did go through it quickly. But... With there being so many different endings... And so many different things to collect... All of which I'm pretty sure I collected, except maybe the sun plush. Um, because I know that I, I'm, I'm fairly certain I got all the collectibles. I used uh, Glamrock Freddy to look everywhere. I got all the retro CDs. I got all the presents I could. I'm probably still missing one somewhere, maybe one or two, but... I used a, a guide to help me uh, figure out where they are, so I don't think I missed any. But, 
even still, I, um, to be honest, there's still plenty of this game to think about, to, like, look into. For instance, we don't fully know what happened to Bonnie or Foxy. All we really know is that Bonnie was once here. Actually, hang on. Those stairs lead in into there. But... Oh... This is that, um... This is that staircase that connects to Phaser Blaster. Phaser Blaster? Now, which way is this camera pointing? Um... God, it is so fucking pitch black. Camera's all the way up. Wait, what happens if I... What happens if I, uh, change the... Can I do anything with the cameras? I can't do anything with the cameras. I can't do anything? Did that do anything? No. It's likely because I'm looking through cameras and the um, brightness can't really... I'm curious, what's the colorblind option? Oh, okay. So, here's the question. Which way is this camera pointing? Okay, so... Which way is the camera pointing? It's gotta be pointing towards the stairs. It's gotta be. Wait. Why are you hiding from me? There's a mat, there's the shelf. I just need a little work done. That's the same place. So we have to get there. I'm not a loser. The only problem is that Vanny is right there. But we at least know where we need to go. I don't know if she's stuck. I mean, I know that she is stuck, but I don't know if she's gonna become unstuck if I approach her. My hair is also, um, can I, can we just take a moment to let it sink in that somehow this game has <laughs> taken over, taken up over 40 parts. 40 parts. That's wild to think about because a lot of other people have done it in less time. But then again, I guess I did kind of go out of my way to get everything. But even then, with, with all the cuts I've been doing, well, actually, I think there's been plenty of instances where I didn't cut out a lot of things because it was like a blind experience, which, let me tell you, was fantastical. Alright. So she's still there. She's still 
still stuck. Are you closer to her? I am. So what's in here? By the way, if I die, that's totally fine. Because I didn't really get a chance to let everything sink in anyway. Wait. No way, I'm back out here. No fucking way. Oh, you know what? I'm willing to bet I probably came down to where the staircase was. And I just like booked it away from here. And we've actually entered the area without having to enter a facet blaster. All the doors are open. What the hell? Can I not go in there? I guess not. Oh wait, that's the elevator, isn't it? That's if I won the game. And um... Yeah, Glamrock Freddy's gone, guys. Which is a real shame. Because, you know, somehow Vanny was able to turn the tables on us and have them completely disassembled. Which... I don't know why I don't feel more upset about it. I mean, Glamrock Freddy was a really, really nice guy. He was super wholesome and sweet, and... I mean, hell, I didn't get it on video, but if you try... He was... He even had his moral rights. If you tried to enter a uh, phaser blaster... Or phaser blast without or if you tried to enter phaser blast while trying to call Freddy over he'd be like Gregory shame on you taking me in there would be cheating I am NOT programmed to cheat that or that would be against my programming like he is such a wholesome bean and just like that he was taken from us in the blink of an eye Okay, so either I have to go back down there with Vanny, or there's somewhere I can go up here. But I don't know. I mean, it's not gonna let me... Hold on. Where's the winner? That's the winner's elevator. Where's, where's that at? Where's the big alien dude? The fact that I'm able to come up here, um, I'm sure it's just doing that as, hey, um, you can use this as a shortcut now. But like, no, this is the winner's elevator. So I... That means I have to take the... I have to go to that, uh, spiral staircase. And I'm pretty sure Vanny is not gonna be affected by the flash. Because she's wearing a mask. So we gotta find our way back down there. As much as I don't want to, it's something that has to be done. Although I, I do like that now that we've gone down there, part of that part of the map has been revealed. Now, I wanna see if maybe it'll like give a shot of the, yeah, of the catwalks. Alright. They really are being kind of loud, aren't they? But don't mind that. Oh wait, I have to look up there. I don't entirely know if the path Maybe I can open the bar that bl that blocks the spiral staircase from on the staircase itself. Because, um, if you try to enter a phaser blaster after beating it once, not only does nothing happen when you beat it again, 
but you also actually can't leave. Which is something I wanted to bring up. I know that this game is not perfect. I know that it feels like there's a lot of things missing from it. But, you know what? Because I never really... Because I only went with what I knew was going to be in the game, which luckily remained, I'm not really all that bothered. I enjoyed myself playing this. Okay, I, I gotta go this way. I thoroughly enjoyed myself playing this. What the hell? Yeah, calling Freddy doesn't work anymore. We gotta go back down there. I'm, I'm wondering, um, there are doors that require, like, Security level 12. How in the world would I get that? I don't know what he's doing down there. Yeah, you're still stuck. This source of light... I just realized, I think, wait, wait, no, is Vandy blocking the way? Please tell me she's not. Is she actually blocking the way? Oh, please tell me she's not. Please tell me there's another way around. Wait, 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 wait. There might be another way around. I think. Is there? No, there's not. There's not another way around. The closer we get... the more severe my, uh, vision gets. Alright. If she starts approaching, we run. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Why are you hiding from 
me. Okay, how? But, um, at least that maybe got Vanny unstuck. Maybe. And that was the bad ending. Can I... Alright. So yeah, that was the bad ending. I don't know what I did to get two stars, but... If you only have one star, you get the bad ending, where Gregory gets taken. If you have two stars, you get what I think is a good ending, where Gregory and Glenmark Freddy are able to leave. I just wanted to show that real quick, because I uh, wanted to see if I could do it. I did this on the autosave file. So anyways, I'll meet you guys back when we're being chased by Vanny. Okay, this time, we're going to get a more proper glimpse at the cutscene. Because, for, for those of you guys who didn't bother to watch the entirety of the last episode, I'm going to go ahead and include the, this cutscene in this one. Gregory, you have a choice to make. Well, we saw her hideout, right? In Phaser Blast? Maybe we could catch her there. If she thinks I escaped, maybe we can surprise her. Yes, come. Let us end this. Damn it! Okay, so there's no sound because I have my headphones plugged into the PS4, but I found out that I am actually missing one retro CD. Now, before I collect it, I just want to apologize for things being out of order when it comes to trying to complete things in this game. Because, um, well, it's, it's pretty awkward for me because, like... I wanted to I want to do everything I can in this game and having to go back and forth between things inconsistently is kind of confusing and I do so apologize for that. So apparently I, I was missing one single uh, CD right here. I miscounted. There was I did not have 16, but now I do. Also, uh I double checked and I apparently am missing a present. Hang on.
All right. So the reason I say things have been kind of out of order is because I did not I did not save every ending for the very very end of the game. I just kind of went for them whenever I wanted to. And I do feel bad about it because like I mean I guess we are kind of at the end of the end of the game where we can do certain endings, but I don't know, something about this just feels very confusing and inconsistent. We at least now have the final disc. And dealing with uh, Vanny is, of course, a path towards one of the endings. Now, I just want to say, there are some things that I have not done yet. There's like one or two presents that I have missed, apparently. And I need to complete Princess Quest 2. Because part three is where Vanny's hideout is, and part of getting into Vanny's room, well, I don't know if it requires beating Princess Quest 2, but beating it is still a requirement. I need to beat that Balloon World minigame. Um, I also need to figure out where the hell to get these other security passes. So, yeah, there's quite a bit that I have not done that I really need to get done. The first thing is listening to this retro CD and hearing what it says. So yeah, um, I was kind of hesitant to do the Balloon World minigame because it seemed to crash when I tried to play it, or it like, it like for some reason saved my progress of being right in front of it. And I don't know why. Okay, it's not this room. Actually, I think it's on the way to the lobby. Um, I tried checking the presents and I don't, th hang on. One of the things I'm missing, I think is a Chica Pinata because I have a Freddy Pinata, Roxy Pinata, El Chip Pinata, Monty Pinata, Chica Mask, Keychain, there's his Pinata. Yeah, I don't have a Chica Pinata. So, I took a look at a list of guides, and by looking into keywords, there are, I think there's like 78 presents. And I think I have 76. So I did not get everything in this game. I thought I did. And I am very certain I did not miscount. Because um, they used the terms present and then like a dash or a hyphen, whatever you want to call it. Also, this message. I finally found a guy that explains what it says. Let me just bring the uh, mic over here. Okay, so this, this code. So this code reads, and this is, uh, this was made in a post made by user numbers2134 on Reddit. The message, they said, now the message itself is intentionally cryptic to understand its meaning. Here is the decoded message. Break and mend, I built the breath. They hunt now, drawn to life. Not real, still me. And frit and fraught with thought and zest and guest, no blunt woes. Dodge, duck, flash, shoot, crawl, run, crush the vile band. Cry not, try not, do not hold out hope. Your life, your aim will save those with soul. And they in it they say, now the message uses a lot of formal terms, which is intentionally emphasizing the writer's emotional state of mind. I'll give a basic definition of each fancy term. Definitions mend, to build, repair, restore. Breath, obviously meaning inhaling and exhaling air, but can also refer to life, much like in Catholic religion, breath of life means to bring life into someone. Real, 
existing, genuine, authentic, not a fake, imitation, or artificial. Frit. To be scared, coward, or for someone to not be brave or have be or have bravery. Fraught. A, a situation that leads to an undesirable result also, can also mean anxiety or desperation. Zest. Can mean great joy, excitement, enthusiasm, happiness, positive attitude. Guest. That's G-E-S-T. Causing a great deed, accomplishment, succeeded a goal, adventure, or grand story. Blunt. Straightforward, direct, plain, but can also mean slow to intake, f dull, or dumb. Woes. Sorrow, distress, sadness, trouble, burden, depression, etc. Vile. Foul, nasty, bad, horrible, immoral, evil. Hope. Hold on to an expectation, wanting something to occur or anticipate a specific desire. Aim. Intention, objective, or purpose. I know it probably wasn't necessary to include that, but I figured it would, you know. When you get a better understanding of the words and then translate the message to a more simpler f form of English, this is what is being said in a more literal sense. By destroying and repairing things, I created life. They are born and na are, now to dr are now drawn to hunting living beings. I may not be alive, However, I remember I'm still me. I am scared to act, as my thoughts are filled with uncertainty, but the feeling of joy and happiness from my actions accomplishment will not cause any direct pain or sadness. Dodge security, duck underneath obstacles, flash your fast camera, shoot your phaser blaster, crawl through ventilation, run from danger, defeat the evil animatronic band, don't cry and don't bother trying, don't hope on my well-being. Your life and your intentions will save those with lingering souls. So, I don't really know what this is trying to say, but this was written by someone who knows that we did what we have to do. Or, they knew we would have to do what we had to do. Take out the animatronics, for one. Now, it's... It, can, it could be kind of a mystery who exactly wrote this, but... There's probably some points in there to take into consideration to nudge towards whoever might have written it. I just figured I would include that because... This is really interesting and cryptic. Like, someone knew we would come here. Or maybe this message was written for someone capable of taking out the glam rock band. Anyways, I gotta find that present if it's not opened. All right, I'm stupid. I completely forgot to listen to the audio. I was so focused on that message, I forgot. The 16th and final CD. I got another message from the text at the Pizzaplex. I'm afraid it's about you again. The techs have been struggling to fix some serious glitches with the robots. I'm not sure what exactly is wrong, except that it's making the robots more eerie than entertaining. You like that? Eerie instead of entertaining? Thanks, but it's really not that funny. Apparently, the glitch extended beyond the robots. It went system-wide. It began infecting all the machines, and when the text traced the glitch back to its origin, it led them to you. I'm, I'm not going to pretend to understand everything I'm reading here, but what I get is that the system-wide glitch was like a cascade that was broadcasting a very dangerous message. While the techs were trying to reprogram the system to remove the glitch, the source of the glitch shifted. You'll have to excuse me, I'm not all that familiar with computer programming. So I might get this wrong, but what I understand is that the glitch stopped being a glitch and turned into an intentional set of subroutines that were aimed at creating the same thing the glitch created. Those subroutines seem to have come from you. Can you explain that? Listen, I'm on your side here. Our sessions are just between you and me. The text can't prove what they think, so you're not in trouble. I just thought you could tell me what you're trying to do. 
Maybe if we could get to the bottom of that, it could help you. What do you think? Still not talking? All right. Well, then let's do this. Why don't we talk about the research I did in your past, shall we? Some therapists think they should only focus on information they get from their clients, but some therapists, like me, think it's helpful to find out about clients from other sources. Wanna guess what I found out when I looked into the tragedy of your past? All that stuff about your parents? You aren't even gonna look at me? Fine. You can look at the floor all you want. But it won't change the fact that none of what you said in your file about your parents was true. The truth is, you had great parents. A great childhood. Why did you lie? Look at me. Tell me why you lied. You... <clears throat> well, I can understand why you might feel angry about the way I just confronted you. Why don't we come back to this another day? You're shaking your head as though that's not going to happen. That's because it isn't. We all know what happens next. That therapist ain't coming back. So, that's something that's really interesting. The reason I really went into a Reddit post about those CDs before finding the 16th one, again, that's because I miscounted and I thought I had all 16, when in reality I only actually had 15. I somehow missed that there was a CD there, so my apologies. But like, so the Reddit post did mention that there was some kind of glitch that was causing the animatronics to turn, you know, dangerous and hostile and possibly hurting people. And when the technicians tried, uh, found the source, it pointed back to 46. Now, um, I can't recall if 46 is, I don't think 46 is Vanessa, I think it was the other person. I think 71 was Vanessa. But the interesting thing is if I mean if it wasn't Vanessa, who was it? Because it was someone who seemed to have intentions of creating some kind of program to cause the animatronics to turn hostile. Vanessa follows the cult of Glitchtrap. 46 follows her goals of creating a very dangerous program. And I don't exactly understand what that's about. Hi. Um are they working together? Do they know that do they know that the other exists? Are they rivals? Are they just two completely different people that coincidentally are causing damage around the pizza plex? It's not clear to me, but what is clear, abundantly clear, is that they are definitely trying to do something very, very bad. Because we know that Vanessa is following the cult of Glitchtrap, or Vanny is, if you want to be more specific. Because... Um, in the trailers, you could hear Van uh, Vanny talking about how, um, I think she said something like the other children are worried about you, and she didn't mean to, something about acting out of character, or she didn't mean to act out or something, or lash out, and tried assuring Gregory that it was just a glitch. That line, while pretty much plastered on t-shirts and fan art, it's also something to think about. Because Vanessa's outfit isn't just a bunny outfit. It very well may be partially, well, partially designed after a part of Glitch Trap. Because 
If she says it was just a glitch, part of her suit has to be animatronic or electronic, right? It, it has to be. Because, like, she has those, those large glowing eyes on her mask, and those definitely ain't possible to make without having some sort of electronic technology. LEDs, the lights, whatever. And she seems to want Gregory for some reason. Gregory isn't in the mall records. People theorize he's an animatronic due to this, but... Would that really be true? Then again... He somehow knew how to drive a van. I'm sure it was like a joke ending, or like a really sweet ending, but... They still showed him knowing how to drive a van. It's not as simple as sitting in the seat, grabbing the steering wheel, and pressing the gas pedal. There's more to it than that. Gre maybe Gregory is like smarter than most kids, but like, it really makes you wonder, is Gregory human, or is he some kind of special animatronic that has a high intelligence? I mean, why was he hiding inside of Freddy? I mean, was it- I- it was probably to get away from Vanessa. Or Vanny. Okay, thank god I can come back here. It was likely to get away from Vanessa or Vanny. Aha! I knew I never opened that! There you are! Wait, did I... Hey, hey, I found everything! That's every single collectible in the game. Sweet! Let's go ahead and save real quick. So yeah, who exactly is Gregory, and why is he so important? Is he just one of the remaining children that Van that Vanny needs, or is she after him for another, more nefarious reason? Because she could have just given up on Gregory and been like, okay, I'll, I'll go find some other kids to stalk. But no, she was dead set on Gregory. She had the, she had the capability of just leaving and waiting another time, but she intentionally made it so that Gregory couldn't get out of the pizzeria until 6 a.m. She, like, especially when he, um, especially when he was, when he was trapped in the Lost and Found, she took that opportunity to try and get him. But, you know, we managed to escape her, but she still went after him. Vanny, Vanny really wants Gregory. And... I'm sure there's some explained reason why, but it's beyond me. Now, I know that it's an unusual sudden cut away from the, the uh, Vanny option, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go play Princess Quest 2. That way I can have completed that, and then the other endings I can very easily just go for. So let's go ahead and, uh... I'm surprised I didn't trigger any alarms right there. But yeah, I now have every collectible in the game. It's not that hard to find them, especially once you have Roxy's eyes. If you want to get all of them before, uh, 6 a.m., I mean, I don't think you can get all of them before 6 a.m. Because Freddy gives you another party pass if you choose to stay. But then, if you choose to stay, you can just go to Roxy Raceway and get another driver assist bot head. And then it'll reset the clock and allow you to save again. Which is super duper handy. Also, um... I did read up on how to accomplish some of the endings. Of course, I don't know what the endings are, I just know how to accomplish them. Hey there. 
So with that in mind, I'm going to be doing the Vanny thing and then go for the other endings if I can. Got to keep a sharp eye out. This thing is handy. Of course, it takes a lot longer to recharge, but whatever. Oh, I also have all the messages in the game now. So yeah, I have every collectible. Which makes me wonder. And this is something that's remained on my mind for the longest time. Why was there an option to get something from the ATM? Was that not intended? I don't think it was. But now, now we can play Princess Quest 2.